you know, we hear the word, when you talk about that specific word, and I've been hearing it myself too, I hear so much of that word, we hear so much, if we could just sit back and realize for a second, and to truly, if we can just think about it, go to the board and think about this for a minute, Tr you know, truly sit back and think about it, we hear so much of this word, this, and this word, like many other words that go around a little bit, but this one specific word, tribalism, and I've been hearing it a lot lately myself, especially when you look at the, the, the state and just the overall culture of, of wrestling today. Not that it was a factor but, uh, as much as back then, but when you just look at it, when you look at into how much it's integrated into the culture of today, and when you talk about specific or whether you talk about fan bases, each side, or just that overall. I mean, you can bring it up. It's a little. It's it's a part of everything. That's probably uh, that's probably a concept. That's probably an emotion. That's a part of everything. Its own culture, subculture, if you if you will. Politics. When you talk about liberals, <laughs> liberals, conservatives, talk about. Hey, you you even you even have your Andrew Tates of the world, your your Candace Owens of the world, and as such further. Feminism, you're just the whole man of spear, red pill, and whatever the fuck, <laughs> but Jesus, that is. You even have, of course, even bringing up play Xbox, <laughs> even bringing up Xbox and PlayStation. That whole thing, that whole call is is, is going on. I would very much say, say, especially within yeah, wrestling, <laughs> tribalism, WWE and AEW. You know, that's a big, that's a big word, and that's, you know, a very big thing when you look at it in, or just the overall state, when you look at it, going into anything. <laughs> Tri yeah, tribalism is a very big thing, and and it, can and it literally exists into, in, into everything. And, uh, you know, if I can say, and say, if I can say a little, a little, uh, a little, uh, paragraph, if we could, uh, Guess I recognize a little bit about Chris Jericho. Yeah, I understand it's about. Yeah, I understand when it comes to rooting for your side. Just that, just how WWE does it. They practically do it all the fucking time. I get rooting for your side. I get being down for your day one, and you know wanting to put over, and just be there for your company, whether it's professionally or even personally, and just want and just wanting them to stride, wanting them to improve, and just. Overall, just wanting to be successful. That's one thing. But the, there's another thing we talk about and bring up. That's another thing. Another thing and being that where you have this completely, you know, delusional fucking mindset of to where it's like where you have Jericho say now. <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to get into it. We're going to get into that. Oh, yeah. You know, I just want to, and of course, like you, yeah, it's there for you also, of course, as always. <laughs> I got back on that. If you want to follow along, <laughs> it's there. <laughs> you just, you just got to stop being a lazy fuck. And you just got to go through it. Oh, but, or, or, or if you want to be a, an actual natural human being, <laughs> you can just look up, you can just look, go look up, go look up yourself. But okay, Chris, we, of course, we're going to, the, we, we only need that one important part. The reason for why we're here. Chris Jericho, but yeah. Oh, uh, another thing. A little also another thing. Because if you ask my opinion of what tribalism actually is, it's just <laughs> it's two retarded motherfuckers with Down syndrome, <laughs> or they, they like to placate. Or but like I said, take. I don't even have to say anything. Just take, if you will, or you want to. Yeah, in this case, wrestling, WWE and, and AEW, or a, a more easier case, PlayStation and Xbox. More specifically, especially Xbox, where you have motherfuckers, especially rooting for, not that it's wrong for, but a bunch of motherfuckers that completely, that they can see that everything about their company, about their community is, is deteriorating over time around them. Yet they still, the, their own fucking boss, clear cut, straight up in their faces, <laughs> say that we don't have, we don't. We don't want to do this. <laughs> you know, we don't care about the community. We don't want to make this and that. We don't care. <laughs> we don't want to improve. We don't want to continue to survive with X, well, our company or Xbox. <laughs> Yet, 
yeah, you consistently still have these dumb motherfuckers. So you are you have these down, these motherfuckers that specifically that's our special ed have, still believe and still have that type of mindset to where it's like, <laughs> I mean, there's always next year. And like I said, you go also back to the WWE and AEW. <laughs> <laughs> the way you talk about that specific mindset. Because overall, when you think about it, just like when you talk about it, well, I just mentioned, or when you think about it today, professional wrestling, it's a, it's a dead, it's a fucking myth. Nobody cares. Professional wrestling is a fucking grave nowadays. <laughs> so, but, <laughs> but you have fans consistently worrying about, well, you know, arguing over, hey, <laughs> hey, I, you know, I, I, my, my, my smaller dick, my, you know, my small dick right here, it's better. Oh no, my small dick over here can get the job, can definitely get the job done. <laughs> my small dick looks better than yours. No, I'm, my small dick looks better than yours. <laughs> Consistently believe, and I say <laughs> it just goes back to that overall mindset where. You just look, or you just you just look at that confines, and well, really, <laughs> I mean, when you when you think to yourself and look and look side to side, I mean, you know, when you think about it, I'm still getting when you look at undercooked, overcooked. I mean, what is the difference? <laughs> They're both shit. Uh, you know, I'm not. I'm still. Yeah, you know, I'm still not getting, you know, I'm still looking like a dumbass, uh, you know, regardless, or, you know, I just, I just, you know, you just fucked me over to begin with, so, I mean, yeah, what is the difference? They're both trash, but anyway, back to what we were gonna do right here, alright, so, let me see, <sighs> uh, yeah, cool. yeah, while speaking to the messenger, Chris Jericho talked about NXT, to be AEW Dynamite last week by a huge margin. Jericho warned WWE that they shouldn't get too confident after NXT beat Dynamite. This would be like a football game where you bring a where you bring in all of your top stars from years prior and beat the other team 30-26, he argued. It's like a video game. Let's bring in Tom Brady from five years ago, then play then play him for one game against Chris Jericho. Okay, you guys won. But you only won 36, 30, 26. So don't get too far up your own ass because you didn't do that good of a job as far as crushing us. And our show was better than their was better than theirs. Quite frankly, so it doesn't bother me. Sort of the simple fact that you say all that, <laughs> especially as a part a part that clearly reads. Don't get far up your own ass because you didn't do that too good as far as <laughs> crushing us. And as you can hear, the pure fucking copium when it comes to Chris Jericho. Good God. I said, where's my salt shaker? Because <laughs> I need to sprinkle a little bit. Of <laughs> I <need> to <laughs> yeah, I need to sprinkle that a little bit right about now because damn. <laughs> Jericho, I don't, I don't, yeah, it, it seems to be a little rustle between them bristly shoulders. It was to what and continuously bringing up the fact that still that yeah y'all got y'all asses handicapped candy asses whipped to y'all straight up in a bowl <laughs> lopsided right to y'all door right to y'all door <laughs> it's not even a discussion dynamite got fucking destroyed like when we talk about bringing up the actual numbers yeah nine hundred to six hundred. So what do we? Like, I said they got complete. They got completely destroyed. Completely lopsided the fuck out of out of town. <laughs> Demolished. <laughs> no competition at all. <laughs> like exactly no fucking war. And when you talk about you know these neck breathers, <laughs> neck beards, cuckolds, or you know, like when you ha have an each pick fork and f you know breathing really hard. It, Getting behind their company and you know pretending as if you know being body you know these fake make believe bodyguards acting as if you know they're they're fucking get you know in some sort of way better financially or as if they're hand you know in their hands specifically being handed money as when it, when as far as being when it, when you talk about the type of just the overall just fucking standism when you talk about whether it's between these companies. But, yeah, <laughs> when you talk Chris Jericho, the type of, like, yeah, take your foot, yeah, 
completely I said when, when you talk about as as he he continues to make just to make himself look like an utterly and just a straight up utter dumbass. Chris Jericho, yeah, Chris Jer, he's that type of he's the type of dude. If it were say he's the type of father to where slow you have or that type of father in a relationship to where like or or that type of daughter to. To have his kids or playing again or at such instance, <laughs> he's the type. He's that type of father. So he'll wait till the mother gets home. <laughs> the baby's screaming, crying, crying their eyes out, shit in their diapers, having eat, and and he'll just sit back, wildly sit back and wait. <laughs> so so the mother can deal with the shit. So he can deal deal with that. They can sit back, their fat asses. Well, <laughs> they're pampered, spoiled, fat asses, and just wallow and just wait while they can deal, while the mother, while they can deal with the brunt of the situation. Because that's the type, yeah, that's the type of person that Chris Jericho is, regardless or not. And like, <laughs> and when you talk about it too, like, yeah, said we, because yeah, you need to get your shit together. Like Tony Khan, he look, he needs to really when talking about these situations. Really needs to get his shit together because when you when you bring it up, not not just to say see like not because you know as before because you had that whole thing about you have this whole that's the the only thing that that AEW had going for themselves, the only thing that they had going for themselves. <laughs> oh, well, that you have where you have this company that oh, he just it's all it's all lazy dance over here. It's all Chrissy and this. <laughs> it's all Disneyland. Peaches and cream over here, best company that you can root for here. AW is at its worst now. In 2023, it it seems like all else, all failsafe, is about to fucking crumble in a in AW. And Tony Khan, yeah, he needs to he needs to rattle up a fucking mirror. He needs to look dead straight into a fucking mirror and get his shit together. That's like, and not because <laughs> not only, of course, when you talk about WWE. Being as such as still the big boys in town, the big bleeds, the big leads. <laughs> this is where you go. We're talking about this is where you go <laughs> if you want if you want to put yourself directly to accomplish to accomplish and be at the height of your dreams. What uh, apparently, and like I said, it's been going on, and why I haven't spoken on it because I think it's all a bunch of crock shit, which is why I haven't spoken on it before. But apparently, and everybody's all going crazy for it, talking about. Triple H is apparently back in creative. Triple H is getting ready to get to gear up. Going into 2024, Triple H is about to have, or in actuality, just be in cre- back, be back in creative. And what you kind of saw, like I said, what you kind of saw on that Raw when talking about that, because like I said not only when you have talk about having Triple H having a chip on his shoulder, having having a chip on his shoulder. Having a bigger morale, cause that's all a toy like Vince McMahon. <laughs> you think you think Vince McMahon gives a fuck? That's all he's hoping for. Vince McMahon, <laughs> he's he's hoping all else, cause he's he's hoping. Yeah, he's really cause he he wants to get back into radio. He's praying for that downfall of Triple H, cause he yeah like yeah, Triple H. Uh, <laughs> Vince McMahon is one of the richest motherfuckers right now. Think he gives a fuck about being like <laughs> he's all he's a billionaire he's already rich he doesn't give a fuck about any money <laughs> he has all the money in the world he's Vince fucking McMahon he what really matters to Vince is that Stone Cold that the prompt of having power power directly in your hands and he doesn't have it Triple H does. And he wants. I said he's praying for that downfall because he want, he, he specifically wants to be put back into that position. Have Ariel or put put him fucking back into into creative, so he can go back, back to the good old, back being back into that gorilla position, being back front and center, <laughs> being back in that position of one creative. Cause it's not like like we heard. All you know, moments ago, as you know, earlier to a year ago, that you know, before he was getting ready, where apparently Triple H was full and creative, before Vince McMahon just immediately came back and was getting ready to fuck everybody's <laughs> dreams up. Yeah, 
I, so you have, of course, you have a Triple H with a chip on his shoulder. He's getting ready. You know, this is Triple H. He, this is Triple H's WrestleMania. This is Triple H going into Survivor Series. This is Triple H's Royal Rumble, and that's what you have to look forward to going up, going into 2024. And Tony, yeah, Tony Khan. Not that they only, not only, of course, because they have the big shows that have a lot of exposure on it. I said I will say here because I said. When Triple H went geared up, and it's not like, of course, you still have his type of booking. When I, I said, I have my issues, I have my problems, and people can, you know, people can lose sleep. <laughs> they, they can, they, they can throw, they can throw fucking rocks at me and, and anything like that. And as far as being system, systematically or emotionally broken when it comes to my fucking opinion of not agreeing with them or not, but you know, I said, I have my issues and. You know, disagreements when it comes to Triple H's booking. I don't very much like that, of course. But when put in a position to be able to showcase himself, and just like he probably like has to show that a little bit, we kind of saw that a, a bit. It's not just all about, of course, he has his flaws. But when when challenged, Triple H can be able to do some miracles. And let's see, yeah, Triple H and Tony Khan better get your, <laughs> you better look the fuck you like. You better get your shit together. You better look up. And really work on yourselves. And talk, we're talking about putting the best product when, when in regards to AEW, and not unlike the shit that he just put on last night. We're talking about that, and stop listening to the, the unremarkable mark from themselves, dumb fucks like Chris Jericho. <laughs> Try to focus on that. Focus on making your product better. Focus on consistently doing what you consistently want to do. <laughs> It's gonna continue to happen when you talk about uh, when you talk about Jay Cargill, uh, Cody Rhodes going to WWE. It's gonna continue to happen, and I said we get into a state where you have AEW where it's on the worse side, and you have a company to where it's not. It's all it seems all else. It can be you know it's all on top and none else going forward with a higher morale and a Triple H. That can seem like that he could put everything back together, and be being that everybody, and of course already you have the wrestling fans, you have that goodwill, that good faith in that community, and that's all they can look forward to. Yeah, focus on doing, focus on being, focus on making your completely your own identity, focus on making your company the the upper and upper. Stop listening to a fucking idiot like Chris Jericho, because of course, because I said as much as as much as when it comes to Tony Khan, this as much as his project, as much as as much as it is his. That's all this is about. At the end of it, when it comes to that, <laughs> he's already he's already established. He's already a fucking legend of the business. So what does he have to lose? What does he have to really gain anymore? Tony Khan just might have to think about that. But I said, of course, it is there for you. The podium is there for you. If you want to add to more such to the situation, stay blessed, Cosmos. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my fucking day. And stay blessed.